Hiya, welcome back to Exxon. I was going to say, if we can't open this, that's going to be a massive anticlimax. But we can, and we did. Here's some mana, this makes me happy. Oh, this is the Forsaken Outpost. I understand. Well, that was still anticlimactic. Let's go back through here so we can get to the gibbet this way. Uh, maybe not. Man, what a palaver you got to make me go through to do this. Alright, let's jump through here. It's really cool that there's like, this chapel at the back of the um, Forsaken Outpost sort of thing going on. Hopefully nothing spawned because I can't be bothered dealing with it. That does not take you. That takes you to somewhere that you just do and come back. So, where is this door? Maybe it was that. You know. Um. I mean. Oh, what am I saying? Maybe the. That's not where I want to go. The door that opened in the Forsaken Outpost could well have just simply been something associated with that. So now we go into the middle. Why, by the way, are there just random spikes? To stick out of the floor on a regular basis and make everybody sad. Come back! Ah, look what you've done. How, why all these traps? What were the people thinking? Some. Um, this. There we go. So, a door has opened in the gibbet. Let's figure out where that might be. Ooh, all the lights came. Hmm. We didn't get the axe key. Maybe it is that place upstairs that allows us to get to the axe key. Because we know where the axe key is. What were we even talking about? It's up there. Yes, here we go. Oh, this is a trap. Please don't be a trap. Nobody got time for trap. There we go. Why haven't these lit up yet? I feel like I've done something wrong. Like I don't deserve to have those lit up. Right, well, there's a load of bad guys in here, so we might as well uh, set this going. Use this. It's equally as annoying, but it seems less wasteful somehow. No, no, no. No, no, no. Excuse me. <laughs> we will forgive them for the uh, overlapping of the doors. Because the effect is super. Just of having doors open like that. I love how they're closing at different rates because they opened at different rates. What about looking just Get another one stuck behind it. Ah, what's the matter here? Get behind my door! Oh, we haven't got much HP. I don't really want to drain this thing. Because it's not going to work too well for me. Ah, I'll drain that, which is probably an Etin. Hello? Where are you? Uh, got a bit of HP from that, that's pretty good. Ooh, another one. 10 or 11 from each. That's okay. Seems like a reasonable amount to me. Uh, nope. I feel like they're getting near towards the end of something. Um, I kind of don't want to go too far just in case I discover quite what the... Um... I, I don't want to leave and not have discovered what that door was that opened. Right, I'm going to run in here, grab this and bail. Because I was fairly aware that everything was going to go down. I mean, you can see the Afro, it's deactivated. And obviously, the icon of Sin, uh, the Defender, would trap. Nice try! Sunshine. It's like having a great amount of speed and Isaac. So much easier to dodge. Can't open it while it's shut. Can't kick it back open again. It's doors for you. Pretty heavy doors, I mean. It does seem bad. Basically, I didn't want to get locked in in case we can't open them again. Looks like we... Oh, shit. Three. No, three. Oh, well. Done it now. That's right. I feel like we're heading towards some sort of very final battle. Don't recall. So I'm on the throne now. Now what? <laughs> well then. No, we're definitely stuck, so I was right to bail when I did. <laughs> Something else gonna happen? Ooh. Do we hear uh, Korax just now? It sounded like Korax, did it not? That looks like it comes down. Hey, hey. 
shit back there, isn't there? Oh, uh, what do we do? What's this? <clears throat> Are we broken? Have I broken it? I definitely remember more stuff happened when we did this. Hmm. I'm gonna put a cut in and maybe do this again. It's possible that this is glitched out. Uh, maybe due to a rend uh, an engine bug, or maybe just due to the game being old. I, I think I beat it too fast, <laughs> potentially. I can hear you. Well, I guess we'll be back in a minute. Let's see where we get. Ah, oh, here we go. I said it all go in again. And now, whilst fighting those, slowly, we have bishops to contend with. Or disciples, whatever. Uh, we could use this icon of the defender because uh, it does us fairly well, I believe. Oh, everything is alive. Everything's on. Oh, it's you again. Wait, we've been here before. Excuse me? Can we talk about how the fact that I've already done this? Let's um get this out. And then get this out. Oh, let's use this joker. There you go. There you go. Have this. I mean, we could waste mana like this. Uh, apparently we're going to. How long do you have to wait for this? This could be a bit dull. <laughs> We've already beaten this joker and it's bloody... Keep fighting, keep fighting. Nice, oh, gone. I was gonna say his thing never goes away. Ooh. We can step on lava as well whilst we're like this. Sure, let's do that. And it automatically uses that for us, so now you've got no chance of shine. Do, 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 do. I assume everything opens again when we beat in this thing. Well, it seems reasonable. This is actually a slightly easier fight than the previous one, if I'm being honest. Uh, I suppose until he starts summoning bishops, etc. We're running out of... If you stop using the green mana uselessly, then it wouldn't be a problem, would it? Why do you get an extra colour of mana, by the way? That seems a little bit... Uh, a little bit OP. That means that... There exists magic in this world of which I have no ability to... Uh, grasp or control. A little bit, um, a little bit much. Feel very left out. If I'm being honest. Here's my feeling. Um, as a apparently named adventurer, but I couldn't tell you what the name was because I forgot. I wonder where it tells you that. Yeah, that was a good time to stop shooting. So I guess we just drain all our mana into this Joker every time it doesn't have the purple spiral thing. So hello, call this one. Sure. Uh, running around it, and then, oh no. There's no HP in here except those quartz vials. It's kind of annoying. I probably should at this point have already set up a, a button for those. At least I can fly. I believe it. I always believed it was true. Does my, uh, do my weapons use, uh, consistent fraction? of the max amount of ammo. It looks like no. Because otherwise we wouldn't have two left. Right. Let's get out our crater of might. Start all this all over again. Get rid of some of these. It doesn't really... Oh, I guess it does matter, actually. Ah, uh, feck off. Damn it. It occurs to me to not fire that when he's got his shield on. Uh, I guess I'll be back in a minute and we can do all this all over again. <sighs> Look, I had three of these bloody... Let's train this thing while we can. We can't know. Um, you know, protection rook thingies. Why am I having any trouble at all with this thing? We should be able to use our Dark Servants and our ooh, uh, Icon of the Defenders to great effect. And yet we are currently failing to do so. Depending on how well... Do you know what? I'm going to save it. Because this is the third time I've been here. The second time... I came back and I tried again, uh, as you do. 
then all that happened there was that it didn't work again, so I couldn't actually start the fight. Then I died to the bishops before we got to this stage. Ooh, careful. And now we're here. So, a little bit tired of trying. Got a little bit frustrating. If it weren't for the fact I was recording an episode, I probably would have just given up and come back to it another day. Uh, but as it happens, that is not the case. Come in. Such a small window for actually being able to damage it. That's the main gripe here. And then the rest of the time you're wasting your mana on these bloody... Can we just pork it? Do you think that works? The rest of the time you're wasting your mana on these... Uh, oh, five. Fine, on his uh, Dark Servant thingies. The the bishops that he summons. It's like, just give me half a chance. Nope, still bloody shielded. It lasts like a minute. Yeah, flinch. Why can't... I know it's an old game, it's a little bit late for complaining about things that should have come up in playtesting, but you know, if there was a way of aborting the shield, if it was obvious which one he was casting, which is, again, it's probably just, um, it's probably just a perspective of a, you know, a 21st century gamer. You would expect him to be telegraphing which one he's doing, and to have some sort of, sort of pressure point that you can attack, which would prevent him from doing it. So, you could ignore the fact that he was, you know, setting off the fireballs or summoning bishops if you cared to. If he was doing the, uh, heck of annoying, yeah, that one, the, the, the shield thingy, I heard a bishop show up, then you would do your best to abort the spell, because that's, you, know, you expect that from D&D, you can be interrupted trying to cast a spell, because it takes so many turns. Just leather him. Ah. At least we haven't taken such stupid damage this time, but at the same time, the place is not actually full of bishops just now. But it's uh, about to become so there we go. Running out of mana. That's our last shot. So now we use this. Then we get Ray Furge out. We wait for the... Yes, now. No, no, no. Get the... Get it. Attack it while its bloody shield is down. Oh, there we go. Too late. So I tried to fire Ray Furge directly at it, but obviously I missed the uh, principle there was that if Wraith Verge the reason I died before was that Wraith Verge attacked me and Wraith Verge attacked me because it bounced off its shield and uh, like in the previous hub that caused my own Wraiths to be um, hostile to me which I, I believe is the only enemy in the game where that happens because this shield makes it completely invulnerable so everything bounces and the other shields that we know from the centaurs the, the race is going straight through it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah. I've got plenty of craters of might. That's not really my issue. My issue is how many things I have to kill. I mean, I can concentrate on these, no problem, whilst its shield is up. But then I have to pay attention to make sure that I change focus as soon as the shield goes away, just like this. Before the damn shield comes back. Yeah. Probably maybe think about using this. We could banish some of these... Um, Bishops have really got overwhelmed. Seems to be doing okay. Ooh, hello. Doing okay at the moment, at least. What is this doing following me around? I don't want that. I remember an entire separate. There's a whole more bunch of level coming up, I'm sure of it. So through there is obviously the way out. I'm guessing that this door opens when we've beaten this joke. Kill it. Do damage. Right, well. I guess we just deal with ads and. Try not to take too much silly damage, and when it's not got a shield, we hit it. I mean, it was fun once. You know, it's an interesting boss the first time, but the second time around, this is somewhat tedious. Stop recasting that. Seriously. Get rid of this. Try not to poison it yet. Try not to poison yourself. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it was a, a bit of a waste. Go. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I mean, at least all my wraiths focused on it when its shield was down. That was a definite win. A win in that situation? 
think we're still doing damage to the bishop, even if we're hitting it with our um, explosions. To seal this up. But I should definitely have my quartz flasks available until I need my crater of might. Oh, not ready yet. How about now? Oh, we got it! Sorted. Just a couple of bishops left. Ooh, lots of things are happening, but I can't concentrate because. <laughs> Still under attack. Sweet. Well, this is a. Uh, this open? No. I'm sure that just opened. We're flying around. Is that like the end of the level to you? I don't want to go through it in case it is. But I also want that door to open. It seems a bit much. Let me out. I'm going to save it, because if this is the end of the level, I'm going to be sad, right? It looks like it. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to load that again. Um, I'm going to call this episode here so that I can figure out whether we can open these doors before I decide that we're just going to have to bail. Uh, I feel like they should have opened when we beat that thing, but again, we've had some glitches this episode, so I'm half expecting that to just be an error, because you get the Wings of Wrath to explore, right? So. Where's my exploration going on? So we'll see if we can get out again between this episode and the next. And if we can't, I guess we'll just have to not figure out what the door in the Forsaken Outpost was after all. But until then, thank you for watching this episode. And I hope that you will be joining me for the next. And until then, tatty bye, good day.